Good morning, friends. We'll, <laughs> we'll see how this goes today. Another strange day out in the world. <laughs> Went did some grocery shopping and I felt like I was, I thought, I felt like I was in a movie. Um, uh, like Night of the Living Dead or something. I mean, <clears throat> you know, I you know when you say, well, I can't talk <laughs> because you're having some similar experiences to the experiences of the people around you. So my experience has been that I've been in the process of um, detoxing for 10 months. And um, although I feel like the process has been really good and it's going to increase my longevity, which is what I'm interested in, I think. I'm not certain of this, but I think currently my interest is in longevity. You know, uh, a month from now I could be like, no, I'm out of here. <laughs> because it's just been a strange number of years. I mean, so far outside of my reality base and many others. And uh, today, you know, it's, it's literally a 25-minute drive. Um, there's typically not much in terms of traffic. But it's about a 25-minute drive to go to the grocery store and um, why people who are on an island where people go to vacation feel like they're on a racetrack is beyond my comprehension. I mean, like, like who needs to drive? Like, you got to get ahead of the person. There's nowhere to go. I mean, there's just going to be another person. You get around some person. Like, and this is not the consciousness that this island has had for the 14 years that I've been on it. The, the consciousness this island has had is like, well, <clears throat> I know it's 50 miles an hour, the speed limit, the upper limit is 50 miles an hour, but the person can actually go whatever they want to go. <laughs> and, and seeing that they I don't know this is true, but it's a story I've told is that the average age on the island is 70. <laughs> it's the median age. It's like there's older and slightly younger, but that's about it, you know. And um, driving fast is just not something that old people ought to do <laughs> because their reflexes aren't quite as good. So I've been, uh, I've been off kind of the video uh, gig for a, f a number of days. I mean, I was kind of pumping them out there for a while, and and uh, and for a while people were watching them, and then I think they just got overwhelmed by the number of videos or the world or whatever. But I think there's plenty of them, plenty of videos out there. And um, But I thought I'd do a Mayan calendar reading, and I'd also just spout a little bit that, um, I, the grocery store reminded me of the Night of the Living Dead. I mean, people, maybe they just drank too much over the last few days because it was the 4th of July, and maybe just the entire community has, has a communal hangover. But I think it's something more than that. I went into the store... There was some already some interesting energetics. And, you know, so I perceive myself to be an energy aware person. That's just my perception. I just think I feel energies. And then maybe I do, maybe I don't. We all feel energies, hopefully, if we're alive. But anyway, I went into the grocery store and I just thought, oh, it's going to be one of those days. And it was one of those days. Even the one fellow who's like one of the produce um, department people who I have a real nice interaction with, super friendly, super, I call him Mr. Smiley. He's just a really high vibe person and he was just like, 
And I went, oh, crap. If they've taken out Mr. Smiley, you know, the hope for humanity just went down a notch. And if, and if it seems like the computer's moving, it's because uh, the uh, Bryn the cat, the uh, gray striped cat, Mrs. Stripey, everybody's got names, Mr. Smiley, Mrs. Stripey. Doc, dopey, happy, goofy, smiley. All right. Yeah. So it was an adjustment that I had to make. When I went inside the place, my mind quit working. And I went, okay, so there's a lot of scrambled energy in the field. If my mind, if I go into that place of fog, I, I can, I can like separate myself from the field and go into like a clarity within the fog, but I'm sometimes just interested in what the people around me are walking around in. And definitely people seem to be in kind of a major fog period. So the, today in the Mayan calendar is um, Blue Crystal Storm Day. Uh, the crystal is the 12th lunar tone of 13 lunar tones. Blue Storm is the 19th kin of 20 kin. So there's 1 through 20 kin. And Blue Storm is 19 and Blue Storm is about catalyzing self-generation and energy. And there's a statement that's purported to have been said by Mahatma Gandhi that we must become the change we seek in the world. And I think that's just brilliant. All of existence is shaped from energy, information. The many configurations of energy that constitute the myriad forms of life carry with them distinct vibrations. Each subtle resonance contributes to the overall energetic equation. We can discover how our intentions affect the vibration of the energy we output into the field. Therefore, by examining the unique energetic signatures Carried by our thoughts, words, actions, and experiences, we can refine how we wield our energy, learning to conduct the power and potential of our inner forces most effectively. A catalyst initiates or accelerates a process or event without being affected or consumed in the process. As catalytic agents, we have the ability to induce re responses and reactions to stimulate change and transformation. Our personal energy always plays into the mix. We affect the chemistry of every situation we are in. We can be the eye of the storm, the center point of stillness. We gain the power to alter the environment without being carried away by the storm. Blue Storm, ambassador of self-generation, inspires us to activate our inner resources that we may call upon our inner source to generate the transformation we seek to catalyze. As awakened thunder beings, we have unlimited capacity to be of influence, be it through our vigor, charisma, or stillness. Blue Storm declares, circulate energy, usher in renewal and reconfiguration. Thunderous outbreaks can be positively purifying. Unleash intensity while remaining anchored to the center of stillness around which dances chaos. 
from Anon. Silence is all pervasive. It exists in a droplet of water, the petal of a flower, a bolt of lightning, and the roar of thunder. Okay, blue crystal, storm day, tomorrow's, yeah, tomorrow's a galactic activation portal day as well as the following day. And <clears throat> may the ride continue to the best of our abilities. And may you be as well as, as it is possible to be in these kind of chaotic energy times. And now must go.